a new study has found microplastics in meat from lobsters caught off the coast of Nova Scotia. Researchers from Dalhousie University studied the tail meat of 16 lobsters from four commercial fishing areas in 2022. They found microplastics in every one. Lead researcher Amber LeBlanc says given the fact that microplastics are found in so many species, it wasn't a shock. I think the the size of them, though, was very surprising. I just like the sheer, like they're so, so small. Um, and then just the fact that they seem to potentially be coming from so many different sources. The average size of the microplastics was about 30 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. The sources included specks of polyester clothing fibers and marine grade plastics. Stuart Lamont with the Tangier Lobster Company says he'd like to see more comprehensive research. I would suggest we should do comparative analysis. What is the circumstance in beef? What is the circumstance in poultry, uh, fruit and vegetables, pork, you name it? I think it's a widespread issue, so I think we should be um, careful to draw too many conclusions. A chemistry professor who studies the impact of microplastics on human health says his work has found effects on mice when they are exposed to high concentrations of microplastics. But he says uncertainty remains about whether normal exposure can cause adverse health effects in humans. I think it's important to study the matter, but I, I'm, I'm not sure I'd be ready to conclude that consuming lobster would represent a, a significant source of exposure. The researchers and seafood industry representatives say more work is needed to determine the potential health impacts. Francis Willick, CBC News, Halifax.